Hi hey everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here with Chegg. In this video, we're going to discuss velocity and acceleration. The question is asking us to find the velocity, acceleration, and speed of a particle with position function given by the following vector valued function. We have that r of t is equal to 2t comma 5 cosine t comma 5 sine t. So let's work it out, solution. So to find the velocity, all we have to do is take the derivative of the position. So r prime of t. And to differentiate this vector valued function, you basically just differentiate each component. So the derivative of 2t is just going to be 2, because the derivative of t is 1. So you end up with just 2. The derivative of 5 cosine t is going to be negative 5 sine t. That's because the derivative of cosine is negative sine. And the derivative of 5 sine t is just 5 cosine t. That's because the derivative of sine is cosine. So let's just check that. We took the derivative of 2t, we got 2. Derivative of 5 cosine t, that gives us a negative sine 5t, yep. Derivative of 5 cosine t, of 5 sine t is 5 cosine t, yep. That's good. So this is the velocity. So this is going to be our velocity. Okay, so I'm going to write velocity. You can also call it like v of t if you like. So v for velocity, that's a common notation that people use. To find the acceleration, you take the derivative of velocity. So it's basically the second derivative of the position function. So our double prime of t, which is also v prime of t, but I'll just leave it like this. This is going to be, so let's see, the derivative of two is zero because it's a constant. When we're differentiating sine, we just get cosine. So we just have negative five cosine t. And the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so this is gonna be negative five sine t. And so this is going to be our acceleration right here, this is it. So this is the acceleration. And you can also call this a of t or if you prefer, v prime of t. So the first derivative of position is velocity, the second derivative is acceleration. That takes care of the second part, which was acceleration. Now we have to find the speed. So the speed is actually the magnitude of the velocity. So it's the magnitude of the velocity function. So I called it, it's the same thing as r prime, but I decided to use the velocity function notation this time. This is equal to, so to find the magnitude, you take the square root, and then you just square each of the components. Okay, so it'll be two squared, plus, and then squaring negative five sine t. We have negative five sine t squared, plus, and then we have parentheses five cosine t squared. Now we can clean this up. So this is equal to, square root of, the so two squared is four. When you square the negative five, it's just gonna become a 25. And then we have sine squared of t. Same thing here, it'll be 25 cosine squared of t. Something is gonna happen in this problem that happens in a lot of other problems. So I'm gonna show all the steps here, just so you see it once. Because a lot of times these steps are skipped. So this is actually four. Plus, now you can pull out a 25 here. Look at this. So this is actually sine squared t plus cosine squared t. And maybe you see where this is going. <laughs> if you do, you're like, yes. If you don't, uh, then you're probably wondering what it is. Um, this works out really nice. This is four plus 25 times, and this is the identity that is equal to one. Right? Sine squared t plus cosine squared t is equal to one. So we end up with just four plus 25, which is the square root of 29. That's what we get there. So that would be the speed, that would be the speed. So just a quick recap, when you are given a position function and you want the velocity, all you have to do is find the derivative that gives you the velocity. And if you want the acceleration, you just take the derivative again. And if you want the speed, what you do is you take the magnitude of the velocity. Okay, so you square each of the components and take the square root, and you go through the process there. 
I hope this video has been helpful and hopefully you learned some mathematics. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out more videos on Chegg. Till next time, good luck and take care.